When people first come to skiing and are just getting started, there are a lot of concerns and questions about how to do that safely. You're giving a lot, up a lot of your control or, or sense of control by putting something on your foot that slides and wants to slide quickly down the hill. One of the most important things when you're getting started is the stance and the balance. Being balanced over the whole foot in a good athletic stance. Your legs are relaxed and flexing, ankle, knee and hip soft and comfortable so that you can maintain good balance over the skis as they move down the hill. The next thing that you have to understand is, is the wedge itself. It's balancing over the feet and, and spreading the legs apart as the toes move inward to create kind of a V-shape with the skis. As your legs move out from underneath your body, you're actually progressing that ski onto its inside edges, and those opposing edges act to slow you down as you move down the slope. The larger the wedge is, the slower we go. The smaller it is, the faster we go. So the idea is to progressively move that wedge in as you get more comfortable and glide down the hill. Another important aspect is riding the lift. Riding the lift, you want to think about sitting down as you're having your chair pushed in for you at the dinner table. You've got your feet pointed up the hill, skis parallel. You've got your poles in your outside hand where they're comfortable and relaxed and you reach back to the chair as it comes and you just simply sit down and allow it to scoop you up and carry you off the ground. Enjoy the ride, enjoy the view, enjoy conversation with the people around you, but make sure you sit still and, and keep safe facing forward. As you come to the top of the hill, again, your poles are in your inside hand, your hand reaches back onto the chair and you push up to a standing position and glide away from the chair as you come to the exit point of the ramp. Some of the safety aspects that you want to keep in mind while you're skiing, first and foremost, is to be aware of other people and objects around you, to be able to stop and control your speed and direction so that you don't run into those objects or people. Turn shape is very important in skiing. You want to make sure that you maintain a consistent turn shape that allows you to control your speed. That helps you reduce your wedge so that you're not fighting with that wedge so much to control your speed. You spend time moving across the hill as much as you do down the hill and it's that nice smooth S shape to the turns that help us control our speed and reduce the size of the wedge as we get more comfortable. So I hope this information works for you when you come out to visit the mountains, but just keep in mind, it's good to take a lesson and always start slow and respect your ability.